Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your guy, Perrier. We are back with another video. This time, man, we're going to go ahead and check out the AirPods Pro. How do I feel about them after owning these for better part of a year? You know, how do they sound? How's the battery life? And the most important question is, uh, should you still consider this in 2022? I'm going to hopefully answer this for you if you're on the fence. So, yeah. Let's go. All right, y'all, welcome back, welcome back. Like I said, we're about to go ahead and check out these little guys right here. Probably one of the most popular earbuds, you know, in the world right now, you know what I'm saying? AirPods Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and tackle some questions and give you my perspective from using this for over a year. Well, just about a year. <laughs> and uh, my perspective using this as a music producer and how I use it in my workflow today. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So let's go ahead and tackle one of the most important aspects of these earbuds, which is the sound quality. How do these things sound after a year? And I would have to say that these sound on point. Um, sound quality is great. Um, I think if I'm going to summarize it in one word, it's going to be balance. Now, you're not going to get heavy bass out of these things. They're not super bass heavy like maybe the beats or whatnot. Um, but these are definitely balanced. And I kind of appreciate that. And I'll kind of get into that a little more in my little music production section of this video. So stay tuned. Um, but for me, these sound great. Um, the bass sounds just enough you know i get just enough bass out of it the mid sound very good um and the high sound great as well so very balanced sound that you're gonna get out of these um and i don't think that's a disappointment i think that you're gonna get different genres of music that you may listen to and speaking a little bit more about the sound quality you know we gotta go ahead and touch on a and c and uh, with ANC, which is active noise cancellation, if you're not familiar, it's basically one of the star features of these earbuds. Transparency mode for me has been on point. This, these are oddly really, really, really good as far as transparency goes. Um, you know, you don't get that weird staticky sound from it. it sounds clean, it sounds crisp, um, and it just sounds natural. So, you know, as you're letting noise in or whatever, it just sounds natural, and even after, almost a year these still sound good now with the um active noise cancellation i feel like that's actually as good as well now these are very very small earbuds y'all see that very very small um <laughs> but these work very very well and that's because of the little vents that these have and the little sensors that are around these earbuds they work very very well when i'm at the gym um if I'm on an airplane, they're not gonna be the best because them engines on the plane are just they're just on beast mode. But they get the job done and allows me to focus on the music, so I can't complain. I can't complain at all. So diving into one of my favorite sections of this video would have to be music production. So you're probably looking at me like, period, yo, what do you talk about music production? Like you can't use these little earbuds for music production. But in my case, I can. Um, now I use this more so for referencing the mixes that I might. Um, bounce out of my project um, and these have been a very very valuable tool in doing that so for me I just use it where if I'm finished up with a mix I want to basically reference on different audio systems so I'll use you know obviously we do the car test um, obviously well I'll use my Sennheiser headphones as well but these have been a great tool to use because again like I said earlier these are so balanced so you're really gonna get a good idea of how the mix sound how the music sounds so um, I found like this was found for me that this was very very useful in my workflow and how I utilize this at times when it's not just casual listening or remember when I'm at the gym or whatever so very very solid they're super super clutch when it comes to being able to reference my music. So I keep them on deck, I keep them on deck, all right? And with the actual appearance and design and really like the battery of this, I found like after a year, this has been very, very good. I mean, I really like the design because again, these are small. These have the silicone ear tips for me, which is valuable because, you know, those other OG ones, I can't keep in my ears, but these work just fine. I use the medium tips 
and thankfully they have other tip sizes that come with the airpods pro um so for me they stay in my ear whether i'm working out whether i'm just sitting whether i'm walking when i'm running but i'm if i'm just chewing <laughs> they stay in my ear so that's very very useful i found like other earbuds previously they just didn't do that weird enough right you know so these stay in my ear they work well clutch and then with the battery life I really love that this has wireless charger. Now, obviously this has the lightning port so you can patch in or whatever, but I find like, you know, I, I, I prefer to just go ahead and plop it on a, a Qi charger, or one of my little MagSafe chargers around the house. Works very, very well. It allows me not even to think about the battery. So I really do appreciate that. All right, y'all. So thank y'all for making it this far, y'all. So really, what are my overall thoughts of this in 2022? Um, I really still enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite accessories that I own today. Um, obviously, this is not sponsored by anybody. I bought this for my own money. So for me, these work very well for what I need in my everyday life and just for music production in general. These are a great pair of earbuds that just kind of, I use them in different circumstances. So they work well for me. Um, now, overall, now if you're on the fence, again, this has been out what, since 2019 maybe. So it's been out for a little bit. So maybe the second gens may come out in the next few months to the next year or whatever. Um, but should you still purchase this in 2022? And my answer to you is um, if you're in the market of some decent earbuds, go ahead and cop these. You know what I'm saying? These are solid. They work well still. You're not gonna have weird issues uh, with the battery. Sound quality still sounds great after a year. Uh, so these are solid. I mean, there's a lot of other options out on the market and I ain't gonna advertise it because they ain't paying me. So I'm just gonna talk about what I got and what I paid for and these are solid, these are good. So listen, that's just me y'all. Y'all can let me know down in the comment section what y'all think of these. If you own one, if you're on the fence, let me know down in the comment section. I need to hear from y'all. Um, but thank y'all so much for checking out this video. Hopefully it's not too long. But uh, thank y'all and appreciate y'all. And I'm going to check y'all out on the next one. Peace.